Nelson Mandela o kile are. Thuto ke sebetsa se matla ha golo. Se ka sebediswang ho fetola lefatsi. Ka bo madimabe, ma Afrika borwa a mangata a hlola ya ho fumana thuto ena ka lebaka la ho hloka challenge. Se le mose seng le se seng. Di tefello tse pahameng tsa thuto. Di sitisa batho ba bangata go ya sekolong le go tswelisa di thuto tsa bona pele di university. Me sena se bolela hore o ngata ba batho ba hlola ya ho fumana mesebetsi bo bane ha bana thuto le tsebo e batlwang ke bahiri e be batswa di ba batlelang bana ba bona menyetla ya bokamoso bo botle bana le tshepo tshe e ka ba hona le ditsela tseo ba ithuti ba ka ipatallang di thuto tsa bona ke nna marona khoeng me ena ke rents with sense Gale a mohela le nane hong lena le buang ka bolukuluhi ka maemo a chelete le nane hong la ka jeno ke shebana le mathata a thuto a aparetseng na ha ena ya rona mathata ana ha a me ba tshafela empa a ama le batho ba baholo ba ileng ba hloleya go fumana monyetla ba ho ithuta ha ba sa le dilemong tse tlase o thata bo boholo bo ma Afrika borwa a mangata a tobaneng le bona so in South Africa, where education is very expensive and the job market needs more skilled people, for most people it's out of their reach. Most people cannot afford uh, good tertiary education. The tutor is <laughs> hundred thousand, and the the market is very poor. So. I'm studying BCom at the University of the Western Cape. I'm doing finance, majoring in finance and investments. Completely, our course per year is plus minus 19 to 23,000 rand a year. Um, the current cost for civil um, and engineering in, in general is around about 50,000, 60,000 rand a year, but it seems to increase as the years go on. Um, from first year, I remember paying about 40,000, and now it's about 60,000 for a year. Um, my first, first two years of varsity, I was studying full time, so my parents had paid for that. The following year, I had to take out a student loan because both my sister and I were currently studying, and fees got too much. <laughs> Di tutor tsa ka di duelela ke NS Fast le foundation e nwe e patela ni tutor tsa ka go ntleng ga go ntleng ga NS Fast. Ga ke na gane gore ke be ke khone go tsentsa tutor tsa ka fa ke be se ka bazer ya ka le NS Fast ka ntla ya gore batsedi ba ka ga ba khone go duelela ni tutor tsa ka ena ga pele go ga ga go na madi. In terms of what parents and students pay for university, obviously um, depends on the university that they've chosen. Obviously there's, there's huge differences in, in the fees. Um, it, as well as the faculty or the degree which they've, they've selected, they also look at the differences between whether they um, um, decide to take up a, a degree or whether to take up a diploma. I can, however, tell you that education through your major stream universities are quite expensive. And parents do tend to forget the, the indirect costs, besides the direct costs such as tuition, outstanding balances, and your registration fees, which are applicable, but the indirect costs, which is associated, something which a lot of parents and students tend to, to oversee. And those costs involve, for example, your stationery and your textbooks, which are required that year. We are not able to have any textbook as students because we are not able to overseas. So maybe the price for a textbook for a blog, a blog which is maybe from February to March, it's 910. It's a lot of money. The other costs that parents do tend to forget and which we cover is costs such as accommodation, your meals and your transportation, um, which are all other costs which we cover. At UCT we receive um, on average about 6,000 applications for financial aid. 
out of 6,000 application, we end up um, giving about 800, 700, because not everyone is actually eligible for financial aid. Documents that are needed for financial aid are mainly the financial um, status. If your parent is working, we need to see the um, salary slips. If your, your parent has got a business, we need to get the financials from the business. If the family income is less than 130,000, you will be eligible for financial aid. Well, in the, in the past 12 months, we've received um, close onto 75,000 applications. Um, later stats show that we've, we've managed, or we've declined approximately 17,000 of those applications. Um, as, as an educational service provider, we try our very best to ensure that every client that comes into our doors, we are able to assist. And um, we, we're pretty proud that we are able to keep our declines to a very minimal. So the criteria for a successful application is ensuring that the client can prove affordability. As Edge Alone, we are a financial service institution that provides credit. So we're expected to adhere and comply to the regulations set forth by the National Credit Act. So the National Credit Act requires us to prove affordability, and that is an essential criteria um, in terms of um, having an Edge Alone loan approved. So the required documentation to ensure a successful application is, is to ensure that number one, a completed edge loan application form is submitted, making sure that you submit your updated payslip, with three months bank statement, as well as a quotation from the institution and where the, the student would like to study. So we offer our clients the opportunity to apply for edge loan via the online process. Um, clients are able to log on to our website and apply via that process. The clients as well could visit any of our offices based nationally across the major universities. Um, they would then at the, at, the, at the institution or at our offices find a helpful and friendly relationship consultant which will help them complete the application form as well as collect the documentation. The third channel which they could initiate the process is via our call center and the details are available on our website as well. Once the outcome is received, the client is notified via SMS. The money is paid directly to the institution. So there's no need for the client for themselves to actually go and have the transfer paid over to them and then paid over to the institution. The, the funding is expected to, to be paid back sort of immediately once the loan has been approved. So you then, you don't, unlike, unlike any other loan that's out there in the market, we don't allow you to pay once the study is completed. So your sponsor or the applicant starts paying back immediately. Uh, a principle that we stand quite closely by is ensuring that when the student graduates, they graduate without any bad debt to their name. And that's important for us as an institution. applications students apply NFSAS. numbers ama students are passing metric aya kula njalo uka apply lo nefsas udinga ukuthi qala uma u student uthathwe e university noma e college ushuthi uqala apply le call e college noma university for his color sokufunda ufunde le khozo ifunayo the moment back ne incwadi ukuthi baya accept then sekufana lo apply le i nefsas le mali ye loan aya tholakala ama forms ku wonke ama university noma colleges so seven sana now, better be excited. So, when a panel ya wa NFSAS, a pega a criteria go to we are qualify in. Finally, upu mem de nini, ohola nga pans go 122,000. Eh, njenga manje. Sik tata njenga umuto upu mem de nino sopega. Finally, sik fande, sik kokele intuition, sik kokele ma textbooks, sik kokele accommodation. Eh, ne mali ogula. Eh, unyaga wonke. So, okay, it is a synthesis of the young man who qualify. Financial aid is a tool for the people who are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. Me happy. We plan to go to Nigeria. We plan to go to Africa. 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 We plan to go
que la la living expenses so imali engispenda yo ngenyanga ukuthi ngu1000 to 2000 although ingaba idlulele but ngaphansi kwaleyo kwaleyo ndeng financial struggles saka ki pocket money maya cuz adversity renale social life we have activities which we do with friends we go out we do all those things so i can't do that cuz i can't afford that to do that after all the sacrifice but I can't be calling every time get a mark to chill to go chill with my friends marvel to chill with my friends so certain things I can only do because of that hi le mo di tefelo tsa thuto di phahami hakana ha re shebe megwa emeng e ka o thusang go patalla di thuto tsa hao khadzimiso dza machudeni Zia pambana na misi yote vunga zoite rwa machudeni pezi. Zine anjari roza fasi na honu badira mrau zitoma musinopeza kana wana mshumo. Nesfasi, ya fana na kazimiso ya machudeni. Pezi ya zwa enge zanga zubuya zwa usaba na njare. Chikorodo chanu, chingapungu zwa aralina pesa zwa vudi musini chipeza funzo zanu. Bazari ziave ruangajimi shazo fambana nao na mazangano. Zodo waleao ni ushuma kachimi shwa choito ondambezo ya mashiri ni ruachipinga chote wao. Handambezo zo fambana nao scholarship china chedzambu ya rozabudi. Arali budi neke zera uita kumbero ya scholarship va wanambu yero ya usabade la mrao mashiri ni. Uwana nyele chedzunga budaro kaa urambezo afunso zavo kaba dalele website ya shu ya rainswithsense.co.za na useza siyatara la shu la Facebook. Financial aid emo lemo hahuru. Empa ori eng juale kadi toko tzale tzatzile le tzatzi. Ha uto kabu tlalo kasena kamo rapapatu. Gale a mohela hape who runs with sense. Le nane ho leetsang hore batho ba buwe ka maemo a bona a chelete. Ka jeno re bua ka hore chelete e ka ama maphelo a batsha jwang mabapilo u fumana thuto e chats. Beng fikela na e Cape Town ngizo funda e Bachelor of Business Science specializing in finance AUCT. Uh, Bengzo yenza unyago wa mwesibili glonyaga kutuwa angzangi ngi unitole imali uti nkube kengfundi this year. Mwe first year yami, uh, be, begu nzima kutuwa nga ting seven za nzima ngifunda nga pasa wage wanka makos ami katifu singi kichablela nguba se UCT uh, ngoba kati nga ngfisu uti nkufunde kona. Kati yonki niti hambega shlingu nyari utala nga itola ni funding yugu tingfunde ya benga nazi inkinga. Inkinga ikale ikale nga lunyaga ngi hambile nga yaga apsa snobaba ngi uaplaye la i student loan sugu tingfunde na glunyaga lono ngoba fano utale pantu aplaye each year. Meng figure ke apsa nga aplaye la ilo unisa senda na wonka ma document nga tewe wafuna. We say after three days, he applied for the but he ah bagazang gusbe approve the loan ngeba he affordability ngoba but he bona uba ba we say kokela he interest he loan the sa 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 last year man jwa bona gusi ngeba zewa zug afforda kokela ni interest he loan le we singi zoe sa sa ngeba this year. As an SRC, you know we we are, we are we are very. No, it's always an issue of concern, and we always even go to university committees to raise this issue. We need to do the university needs to be doing more. We cannot be happy that you know students are getting financial excluded, especially if you know the, a good majority of them we found that they are in good academic uh, standing. So it's not that uh, uh, they are not performing; it's really the case that uh, you know they don't have the financial means. And I think as an SRC, you know, uh, you know, 
we are of the view that you know students should not be uh, should, students should be afforded the opportunity to study and continue with their studies you know especially if they are performing uh, quite brilliantly so it, it's really unfair for people to to, you know, to be excluded based on uh, you know financial means so it's something it's a kirki and you should learn erukosha botluko kudu kudu is that to some of my students who would say atrop and i was better their degrees in linking as pregnant now ye ye male ama fees a kupu and jalo when yaga kushula my universities um oh we in this cutters are cool not to see um nyango where when fund the paga menace of that i should jalo when yaga my universities a kupula in mali nalenda la guti utol guti abazal ebebe was a coca three years ago ama fees a second layer level my se kupu ilo nyango landela nano nyango landela abasa was a copa nene ne level ya mafizi ase ase nyuge ngayo ngoba athe nyuka mafizi uphinde kunyuke nemali yama residence kunyuke nemali yokuthenga ma textbook umeze kuhlangene konke lokho bese uthola ukuthi abasakwazi ukuqhubeka bekuphoqela ukuthi abantwana bedrop eskoleni le bakala nhlaleng ka le naga nang gore wa ya batsadi ba sa prepare le tertiary education ke gore bana le maikarabelo ba tshwantse ba hlokomeleng gonano um but I did away for the tertiary Ibukhoa, by away for the tertiary Atura. However, but I did by Vansi Baberica on a month to month basis in terms of Chelete. Um, parents are living hand to mouth and saving for a tertiary fund is not at the top of the priority list. But I'm looking at the Shevaning Libone right now. So tertiary is it's important. However, but what is simply Abanadi means, or it's just one of those things. Everybody is for granted, you know. But when I go to tertiary, it's like a child. I mean, I realize that as soon as one has similar like grade one, tertiary is, you know, in a few years' time, and it's very important. So I think that's the, one of the main reasons why I'm actually very prepared to go there. What should I have for my two-to a pahaming? Kapa tertiary education. Kapa kalau shoka chelete. Hoka baliti tamu gauze mpe mutum. Ngoba singa safundi manje kung pataga ngoba nam bengi nama pupo singzo ba yini niksa salami futi benga ngla lengse benza kanzi meskoleni so nganga taba nguti kyo figis kato nguti nginga eskoleni futi I I don't have any I can't do anything about it um yeah so kung pataga bon nguti ngeng ngung sawa zukube aniskoleni. Sometimes if you can't afford to pay for your education, it can have a negative impact on, on how you see yourself, um, on how you see your worth. It can have an impact on, a negative impact on your relationships, particularly if, you, if you've had friends that have now been able to go on and study because they can afford it, they've got a bursary or their parents have been able to pay for it. Um, so it can have a negative impact on your self-esteem, but it, it's not the end of the world. This really depends on the individual. Ngingathi ungoba ngingasafundi manje ngisengisahla kho ne Cape Town nawo bonke abangani bami kodwa angisayo ke babona ngiyakhuluma nabo kodwa angifuna ukuthi bengizwele ubuhlungu noma futhi ngicabanga ukuthi ngoba bona basafunda I'm sure ba busy nama test nama assignment we don't have as much things in common anymore. We don't have as much things in common anymore. We don't have as much things in common anymore. We don't have as much things in common anymore. We don't have as much things in common anymore. The other important thing to remember is that's just where you are right now. You know, you are, you are at that point in time when you can't afford it. It doesn't mean you're going to be in the same scenario next year or next month, or two years from now. It's really dependent on the individual. And I think parents also play an important role here. It's not the end of the world if you can't get your child into an institution um, that you had in mind. I would also recommend then looking for the other opportunities to learn. So if, if that area is, is closed off, what are the other opportunities to learn that maybe is not going to cost me as much, or perhaps in some cases actually not going to cost me anything at all. So Coursera is one example. Uh, Course era 
uh, ERA is a, a web-driven platform for development that offers some of the most amazing short courses and programs internationally. They are underwritten by all the big universities, but it's offered online and it doesn't cost you a cent. So not being able to afford tertiary education at the moment doesn't mean it's the end of your life and it's the end of the world and you have to close the book. All it means is you just go on to another chapter. In some cases, you just go on to another book. Uh, Seka khalefela na rotle re a itse gore fa motho a tenegile a tletse letswalo o fetoga maikutlo le ditiri fa di khwetlo tsa madi di le gone nang se opposing mme se lebele molekane wa gago ja ka sera nete fatsa gore bothata ke madi ka dinako di madi a bonwa e le bothata ka ntlha ya dilo dingwe ja ka go laela kgotsa go inyenyefa ipolalennete <laughs> Khape ore batle ko Facebook. Khale amo hela hape ho rents with sense. Le nane ho le lekang ho lukisa maemo a hao a chelete. Ka jeno re buisana ka mathata a o ba ithuti ba di university ba shebaneng le ona. Ba ithuti ba bangata ba iphumanela mesebetsi ya nakwana gore ba tsebe ho iphidisa le ho patala dithuto tsa bona Kile ka bona ke na le struggle right that the finances then ka trial the promotions like getting the peace job mara ba tsa ba peace job gore the workload move it is hard so you can't sacrifice like school or to 500 rand that yeah for weekend so at some point I decided to accept this situation so I can just accept that I'm a student I don't have money and do what you have to do to get a degree um to supplement what my parents can't pay for um I have a tutoring job in which I tutor 2 hours every week um which gives me a little bit of extra pocket money that I myself can save apart from my parents I decided to get a part-time job because I think it's quite inconsiderate to rely on your parents for all your means of financial help so i have spare time i thought it would be best used in order to earn some extra money to relieve my parents of that burden okay ire le gore ha ke bona gore batsadi ba ka aba khone go dira everything um i took initiative i became a part time job on the side in retail to supplement what they give me already um go kra mmero ko mo le saiteng go nthusitse gore ke khone go manage a cheleta ka ke spende wisely and economically and not to be financially reckless going to see so also in the sense that um as a person I'm more mature um I've grown and you know ke khona go tsea mai karaba lo fo dilotsa ka le dilotse ke ditlhokang at UCT we want to assume and think that it's about 30% of of our students are working and those students are not necessarily financial aid only we also encourage those that are able 
that can manage their load to work because there's there's they they the working prepares them for 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 for, for workplace uh, self terwijl jy studeer bou jy alles safe vir jouself uh, om vakantiewerk te doen terwijl jy studeer is verskriklik belangrik want werkgewers probeer jou uit terwijl jy studeer hulle um, kan jou kry vir niks of min geld moet nie daar oor bekommerd wees nie maar uh, terwijl jy by hulle werk um, het jy een geleentheid om jouself te bemark daar en baie keer kry studente um, werk by die plek waar hulle vakantiewerk gedoen het die beste presteerders is nie altyd die mense wat die beste is vir die werk nie maar um, eerder die mense wat hard gewerk het terwijl hulle gestudeer het en dalk gemiddelde punte gekry het so um, moet nie slecht voel as jy nie die top presteerder in die klas is nie of uh, jy dalk uh, so bietjie aan jou onderkant is nie maar wat wel belangrik is is um, uh, jou houding en jou ingesteldheid teen die lewe. Iemand wat negatief is en sê ja, ek weet nie of ek lus is om dit te doen nie en um, ek weet nie of ek nou my hande wil vuil maak nie, wel dis ons wat nie aangesteld gaan word nie maar mense wat can do houding het, wat sê ek is bereid en ek kan dit doen en uh, meer is ek meer uh, die werkgever, en um, wat kan ek vir jou doen? Ouwens met die positieve ingesteldheid, dis die ouwens wat aangestel word, en dis wat die ouwens wat hulle self bewys en op die ouwens bevorder word. Baie keer is die plek waar jy werk, of waarin jy blootgestel word, terwijl jy studeer, uh, die plek wat jou uh, uh, loobaan sy richting aanduid. At UCT, we encourage students to get work, but, however, we want them to know that their core business is, is here at UCT to study. So, I'm going to go to the hospital and go to the hospital and go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital and I'm going to go to the hospital and I'm going to go to the hospital and I'm and then kasepela ke berakala wana mantaha kalabone ko balance of school le merako o thata cuz ka hatala hexan ko hatala mara ka kira se tanto ki skidire kireng so ka prioritize ai kira he <laughs> Mosebetsi ona wa nakwana o ka ama dithuto tsa hao empa o ka ba molemo ga golo maemong a hao a chelete ha re boneng hore ke mesebetsi efe e luketseng ba ithuti o mosebenzi wa go tshutshukisa ngo mosebenzi o vamile ka khulu go ba fona ezeng kampani zo go tshutshukisa zifuna abantu abasebasha Apa no mudla nda wogu chutugisa no gutaisa imi kikizo ya. Imi vuzo ya kona, inga mahora ashincha shinchayo, kanya na maawali rates anga pezu gwezi tolo zeri tape. Enye imboni ekasha abafundi, imboni yezo guu. Uyanigezo ama tuba wogu shincha shincha ama hola wogu sebenza. Ungazi tolela futi na ma tips pezu gwe mali oitolayo nge hora. Ngesinye esikati kukona ama tuba anigezo abafundi e kampasi kukufundi sa no mangabe ama admin tle. Ugu sebenza e kampasi ni guya siza uguti uthale usenda weni yogu funda ngaso soke isikati. Uma utola umdeni olungile. Una mapepa wogu shayela. Futi uguazi ugu nagegela izingani. Ungazi tolela umsebenzi ongeze imali yako ya hoa. Uma ufuna uguazi gabanzi. Varashela orenz with sense.co.za 
ubuge ikasile tu le Facebook. Hase mo heba ituti, kitse enu he di keleto se bushokwa. Le ha hona li dit se la tengata, se ka utusa ngoro o krete di tuto za hao za university. Ma Afrika borwa amangata, anze anale botada. Hara kuta papa to, kutwa la peli kataba ena. Rale amo hela hape, who rends with sense. Le nane hole utusa nkama emo ahao achelete. Le nane hongla kajenu, kibua kama tata achelete, a amanang li tuto epahaming kapayona tertiary education. Harabon, hore matata ana, aga amabu pelo bamu ituti jwa. The, the, finance, the finance and the financial strain does impact on the grades of a student. Um, it's a very real circumstance and situation out there at the moment. Um, it does tend to impact on their grades. Um, I refer to myself, a personal situation a couple of years ago, um, where I was going through my studies in a specific year where I didn't have funding. And the thoughts inundated me in terms of, am I going to be able to write exams? Will I be able to, to obtain my results? And that year, my results took a, a, a plunge. Um, it really fell, fell uh, below par because of that financial strain. Anybody who's under financial stress cannot focus because you're thinking about this all the time. You are preoccupied with how am I going to be paid? How, how are my fees going to be paid? So surely that it, it does have an impact on a person. You know, that is because first you have the student uh, trying to get uh, funding the whole year round, going to corporates, going to, into the university and so forth. Some even go to find jobs. Now you find that you have to deal with your academics, you also have to deal with the job. And you don't even, you know, at times they will have to work long hours because on average, most students, if you're in rest, you'll be paying about 80,000, 100,000. You, you can realize it's, it's quite a challenge for somebody to be able to raise that kind of money, which means that you'll have to be making a huge commitment in terms of whatever job that you're going to be taking. And, and normally, the students won't even be having only one job. They'll have to have multiple jobs. Mm -hmm. So you can see that takes away from the time that they have to actually study. Because even at times, they even have to sort of work during weekends and during sometime during the week and so forth. So obviously, it's going to impact their, their academic progress. I mean, some students even pay for their entire tuition fees. So they, they'd have to go to this job, to the other job. And all that time, it would be wasted basically on doing, on doing ways, on, on finding ways, on financing yourself, or else you could have been studying. So we would like students to actually, uh, before enter, entering into an employment, make sure that they can balance their workload. I'm currently studying part-time, also to get, gain work experience, as well as pay for my studies for the year. So basically in the mornings, go to work, till five o'clock and then have class in the evening during the week. So I sleep as much as I can get in sleep also because working and studying you literally have four to five hours of sleep a day. So I sleep, if not I will go out, socialize with friends. Yeah. Okay I'm currently working as a financial consultant and I'm studying which I study if I start work at half past eight till half past five then after that it's class on a Monday and a Wednesday. Uh, when I'm not working or studying, basically sometimes I value my time, sometimes I don't do anything much, but basically you have to prioritise your time, which is most of the time you study and you complete your assignments. My retail job, I affected my studies as much because um, I balance, so I go according to how, how often I need it. So when I need that extra cash, I go in, when I don't, and I can see how I'm going to go to I kind of scale back. So academics plays a really important role. I mean, you have to really work at it. But at the same time, um, just being a, a workaholic and just studying 24-7 uh, is not going to add enrichment to your life. And so hobbies and extramural activities, getting involved, as long as you keep up to date and you don't party too hard, um, 
you make sure you're on time, you, you're doing your tuts, and, and at the same time, you, you're having a sort of a, a social life and, and still pursuing your hobbies that you sort of did at school. Um, and that's the success, really, uh, to, to doing well at university and at school. Then. Hui puma na la mosebeti, osali mui tuti, hoka utswel la molem. Empa, hobo shokwa hoho utsebe di tukelo za hao. Kitse na din chate bo shokwa, se u utlame hangu di tseba, hai ba ki hona u kalang mosebeti. Kui shisha mosomo wagao. Kwa ntishi sha gore o kwishi sha ga botse se se le tetjo go go tswa go wena. O ka khopelwa go dira moshomo o o seng wa thapelwa o. Hlokomela ba se ba ba le ka wena. Tsena tumelalano. O ba ke nako e nyane, o ba ke nako e kgolo. Se shome ge e le gore ga gona tumelalano. Nyakishisha Ge o hwetsa mosomo wa go bonagala o se wa maleba ga se wa maleba o ka thoma mosomo ka morago ga nako wa se sa khona go go patela khopela tumelelano ya kwana ke tishetjo ya semola o hwetsa tshe le tshe dingwe etela rentswithsense.co.za go ba o ka etela letlakala la rena la facebook Mohe, Mansui Abushad. A Gaba Tepo eating, or by two Tiba Africa Bora, a Fumanetus. Dulang Lero Nariboni. Rale Amohela Happy Mona Lenani Home. Lero Tusang, or Recebidi Se Rens with Sense. Ka jeno re bua ka thuto ya sekolo se phahameng. Me re bona hore na e ka re imela le hore a majwang. Ha o le motswadi. O hloka ho qala ho boloka tshelete bakeng sa thuto tsa ngwana wa hao. Hang fela a qeta go hlaha. Ha go utlwe ka bohlokwa ba sena go ya ka sitsibisa rona. The the situation the problem at the moment is that, that but um, parents get caught off guard at the very last minute, you know, when it's time now to send the kid to university and, and they haven't prepared for it. The cost of education in South Africa at the moment is, is pretty high. In fact, across the world, a good quality education does cost quite a bit. So in ensuring that, that, that you're able to give your, your child good quality education, it's important to start in advance. And using an educational policy or educational plan and saving from early from early childhood for your for your child is very important. Because by the time that time has come to send them to a good university, the funds is available. An education plan is a facility that one uses to save for education. It could be saving for kids' education or your own education. Normally an education plan um, has got a different investment portfolio. It's unlike, unlike a bank where you put money into a savings account or into a fixed deposit. An education plan has got a portfolio that aims to give you an investment return that targets education inflation. So by so doing, it means that your money is not ruined over time by inflation. So it is a wise place to actually put in your money or invest your money so that you keep up with education inflation. The other tips when saving towards education is discipline. You have to be disciplined, um, have a habit of putting money aside, regardless of the amount. It could be 200 rand, it could be 500 rand, but once you are in the habit of saving, within no time you might be increasing your, your savings from 200 to 300, and that does make a difference. And when it's time of need, you'll find out that you've got far much more money than you expected. And one of the best things is to start early. Start saving early, because then your money over time is gonna grow beyond what you expected. Um, we, I, was, I was born in England, and my parents have saved since the day I was born, pretty much putting money aside from day one to be able to pay for university for me and my siblings. 
um basadi ba ka nebale neba dirile provision for the thuto tsa ka however ka le ba ka la gore a se nna ngwana hela go tlhong a go na le pressure a bit on the finance side and um e be a pressure mo go nna as well on my finances um, I don't think my parents struggle financially, but they do sacrifice quite a lot to be able to put us through the best education. Let's sit down and share with our children what our budgets look like. If we can budget as a family, clearly saying what our incomes are to our children, because they will not know, they will keep demanding because they don't know how our incomes look like. If we get our children to understand our incomes, then we sit as a family to identify what the needs of the household are, including education for them, for now and for the future. Then we can teach them how to sacrifice some of what they would want now to plan for the future. Bana le bona ba ka leka ho ipolokela tshelete, ho be bo fatsa morwalo ha ba tsamaya lapeng ba ya university. Advising Kaifang varsity students, take initiative. I mean, you're given a set amount of pocket money a month. So, the whole month. Every month, I personally get an allowance of 2,500 Rand, um, but I aim not to spend that amount. I probably spend between 1,500 and 2,000 on going out, extra clothes, toiletries, all of that kind of stuff. Students. Going to varsity is the most exciting uh, thing in your life. You're now free to do everything that your parents say you, should, you shouldn't do. So you get pocket money from pretty much everybody through the excitement. You have a lot of income at your hands, tax-free, right? That's a very good starting point. As you enter varsity, clearly understand what expenses are due to you. While your parents pay the tuition, the other things that you're going to have to pay. You're going to find you have to photocopy things. You have to pay for parking if you have a car, to give you a car, although with that comes the fuel. But you have library. You have a lot of societies. Entertainment for students, it is okay. It's a stress reliever. But you don't have to blow all that in your first month of being at varsity. The biggest uh, um, expense for a student is textbooks. So it's not helpful for you to keep buying textbooks throughout your academic life for the three years because you will not use a textbook after six months, after a semester. There are places that are selling used textbooks. Alternatively, work as a group each of you buys a certain type of a textbook, then you take turns in using the textbook. And when you're done with your textbooks, they're usually places where you can sell them. Now the textbooks have now worked as a form of investment. So look out for all these tip, um, for all these places because they are available on campuses around you. Tuto eka ubulela minyako emingata bupilong bahao. Ha uutlo ka botlalo ka sena. As jij een tertiaire kwalificatie hebt, dan verbeter je jouw um, kans tien keer om werk te krijgen. En jij verbeter jouw inkomstenpotentieel, uh, dien oor je inkomsten geluk. So, uh, dit is baie belangrijk om uh, te, gaan te gaan studeer, jouw uh, matriek te laten maken en daarna een tertiaire kwalificatie uh, te gaan volgen in een richting wat daar werk is. Al gaan loop je de diploma cursus of gaan, gaan, al gaan doen je een graad, uh, dit is baie belangrijk. Want dit bereid je voor, voor die werksplek daar buiten. Oké, okay, so education is het belangrijkste. Het is de grootste tool die je moet gaan doen, number one. Um, it can provide you with opportunities for to save a you know, for to live in that poverty cycle, to give you a better life, to give you income, because in this day and age, life is expensive and education is uh, 
a very, very important tool, you know, that we need as young people to be able to overcome the challenges that life throws at us, financially especially. The, the importance of education is, is sometimes underestimated. And um, I think education is that one tool that could change South Africa for the better. Um, it can change, change people's lives, it can change communities, and it can change South Africa as, as a whole. So that's the importance of it. Um, it's for the progress of our nation, as well as the well-being of our people. E bang le gona hape bekeng e tlang ha re ithuta ka bophelo ba monna ya titebetseng dikolotong ke nna marona khwene ya le siang ka di top tips se tharo tse o letlamehang go di gopola ka mehla ya pele sebedisa chelete e sa feteng mogolo wa hao ya bobedi le ka tsela tse ding tsa o etsa chelete ya boraro etsa dintho tsena go bedi ba tsona ma Afrika borwa dulang le le chatsi ka chelete ya lona le etse rent with sense ka mehla salang hantle